Hey guys, thanks for checking out this video. In this game, we're gonna kind of be um, looking at uh, a game I played just earlier tonight, actually. But I know they're getting ready to end the replays, so uh, I wasn't recording and I wasn't streaming this game. Long story short, okay, so I'm jumping down into this area. The bus basically was a straight shot through, so I kind of went far out, but I got two guys kind of jumping with me. I jump into this spot, I hate the pump shotgun. I know lots of people rave about it, they love it. Knock yourself out, have fun. I can't stand this gun. But it's the only gun I got, this and a pistol, and it's like, okay, let's do it. And I don't know, that guy wasn't a bot. I don't think he was a bot. But basically I get this guy down immediately. So once I get this guy down, there's another guy that's basically with me, but it's like he didn't realize that I was here. Like, I, I don't really know kind of what's happening uh, here at the moment. So I can hear somebody outside, and when I hear them outside, it's like, okay, are they coming in? Are they not coming in? Like, I can hear another chest, so it's like, okay, go down and get the chest. So now I hear the guy coming. So it's like, all right, let me put myself in a position to get this. See, you can hear the footsteps outside. And it's like, okay, well, let's go ahead and get to... Because I only had 75 health at this point. So it's like, alright, let's get to 100 shield. And I'm just waiting on this guy to show up. And he's damaging the wall, doesn't come through the door. Swings around the side. And so once he swings around the side, it's like, okay, well, let me get the AR out. Doesn't come in. And I'll be honest with you, I'm kind of interested to see what he does. So this guy just ends up taking off. Now, the whole reason that I didn't push the fight at the moment was simply because I didn't like the weapons that I had. I mean, that's basically it. So, this guy's just constantly looking behind him, but what he doesn't realize is I'm now chasing him. And I've got a pump blue shotgun, I've got a green burst rifle, and a, um, a gray pistol. And it's like, crap. I don't want this. I can't stand this. But I'm dying to see exactly where this guy went. Because he's just taken off. And I have I saw him on the bridge. And I'm trailing him. I'm hoping you can kind of see me at some point. Um, I'm somewhere back here. I mean, I'm, I'm down here. Like, where did this guy go? Because I completely lost him. Yeah, see, there I am. I'm trailing the guy, but I never saw him. I mean, I, I end up jumping into the truck... Uh, to basically get a chest. So let's get back to me. All right, so at this point, I'm still on this guy's trail because I have no idea where he went to. Um, I still don't have the weapons that I particularly like to have. I thought that he jumped down here, etc., etc. Like, where the frick did this guy go? It's like, all right, he's basically gone. Excuse me. I don't know where this guy went. I had chili for lunch, dinner. So I decided to drop the uh, green pistol that I found in lieu of the gray one <laughs> for some shields uh, at this point. And I am back to 100 health at this point. I, I found a med kit. So I decided to just go ahead and get back up. Because I don't like using the campfires when I play solo. Because it just gives away your position. I mean, anyone can see it. So I, I try to just use med kits if I can. If it's in squads, it it's not a big ordeal. But... Um, just like there's no way I want to use that. So I see this guy building down here, but I've got a blue shotgun and I've got a uh, green AR. So it's like I can't get into a fight. So at this point, I'm in. I'm well in the circle. I think that's the guy I was looking for earlier. He went down there. So let's go ahead and fast forward a little bit. So I've been watching, and I, I'm pretty sure this was the guy I was trailing earlier. So I'm watching him the whole time. He's sitting up on the other side of the mountain. And right then I hear somebody coming. So it's like, okay, this guy does not know I'm here. Then all of a sudden he kind of hears footsteps. He's trying to figure out where I'm at. He's not sure. I see that he's got attack shotgun. It's like, I want that shotgun. Do 162, doing some more damage. Missed that shot, unfortunately, but... Pick him off right there. So it's like, okay, sweet. Let's go ahead and heal up. Always make sure that you build on the bottom so you don't get sniped. 
I should have built right there. I did not. So I go ahead and heal back up, grab the blue tack at this point, and um, basically advance from here. So I decide that what I want to do is go ahead and like, okay, we got to get into the circle here. Now I'm oblivious that there's a guy basically right here on my left. All of a sudden I hear the footsteps. It's like, okay, where is this guy? Let's make sure we re-up. Do two quick shots, do three damage. So now I know as soon as I basically see the third shot, like he's into his health. So I need to try to trail him as best I can. I'm looking to get a shot, try to build up to him. I realize how, how high he's going. And I say to myself, like, I don't have a lot of mats at that point. So it's like, do I want to just try to knock this guy down? And I realize it's going to be too difficult to knock it down because I can't tell if it's resting on the mountain or not. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to wait. So the guy comes down. This is what I love about the tank. I can just rattle off shots one after the other and not worry about it. So at this point... That's three kills into the game. Um, I, I, I thought about picking up this gun. Um, I'm pretty sure that I do take it. Because what was my... I didn't have a sniper rifle at this point. I've still got that stupid pistol. And I finally get my blue uh, AR. Just the regular AR. So make sure I'm loaded up. And at this point, it's like, okay, now I see this guy in the boat. It's like, I don't want to tangle with the guy in the boat at the moment because I still got to make the circle. So let's just let this guy do his thing. Let's not worry about it. And that's the thing, guys. I mean, the way I play, I don't push a fight if I don't need to push a fight. I'm still trying to make sure that I can get what I need. So I think about taking shots there just to see what he's doing. But it's like, okay, I don't have time. I was hoping that I was going to be able to reach this ridge, this ridge, this ledge with my uh, watch -a it, my pickaxe, but I can't. So I go ahead and just decide, like, do I want to build? Because I know the guy's going to see it. It's like, yeah, let's go ahead and do it. I go ahead and heal back up to 150, you know, health and shield. Pick this back up. I go ahead and heal up because I wasn't fully healed at this point. I can't remember what my health was at this point. It doesn't really matter. I mean, I was still alive. Um, so go ahead from here. I can hear the chaos going on behind me. It's like, okay, do I have time for this big pot? Yes, I do. Because anytime you have a chance, get to 200 you know, health if you can. Because I wasn't going to take a lot of damage if I was going to take any at all. Now, I'm trying to look to my left, and I can see, okay, well, somebody died there. So I'm trying to look to see, can I see where somebody was? I don't see anybody. Turns out the guy's basically still sitting over here, so he's about to get pushed in. So all I'm trying to do at this point is, and, and here's key. So if you're coming up through here, if you ever find yourself in this spot, and you're basically to the northeast of Misty Meadows... Here's what you do not want to do. You do not want to cross over the whole way. You still got to deal with the waterfall. It's too much of an elevated position. It's not that I'm in a great position here, but it's better to be in this spot on this here because I have several ways that I can kind of move in order to get into the water. It's not good to be in the water at this point, but it's a whole lot better than being basically right underneath somebody over near that waterfall. Like, don't do that if you can avoid it. So that's what I'm doing. I go ahead and kind of move over and I had seen movement. I see the guy coming. I don't know how he didn't see me, but I go ahead, I grab this, I get my sniper rifle. Um, I took like 20 damage, not even 20 damage, like 10 damage at that point. So I tried, to, I, I was convinced I was going to get sniped right here um, at that point. I didn't, thankfully, because there there was somebody over on my right. And see, that's the thing, as I knew there would be. That's why I didn't want to put myself down here and have to come up the hill. It's because that's what I'm doing, is I'm scoping out exactly where it was I thought someone would be. And sure enough, I mean, that's where they were. So I'm kind of lucky that there's nobody directly there. Um, I never saw anybody on my left, and that's because there is nobody on my left. So basically, these guys are right up here. So at this point, you know, I'm, geez, how many kills is this now? Yeah, that's four kills in to the game. 
and we're down at this point. I'm trying to remember exactly what we were down to. I could pull it back up, but I don't feel like doing it. And so basically, I'm just kind of sitting. And if you look at the circle, it's like, guys, I never give up my position if I've got a good position. Because that's part of just how I play. That's just my strategy. If I've got a good spot, I'm going to take advantage of my spot. Now, here's the thing. I'm saying that to myself in my head, and at the same time, I'm saying to myself, like, you are not in a great spot. You're in an okay spot at the moment simply because you haven't been sniped yet, and you can kind of survey the land to figure out where you want to go. So if you kind of look at the map here, where would the best place be for you to go? I'll give you five seconds to figure it out, and that's enough time. So the best place for me to go is obviously the shortest route is to basically head right over here. Now it's not to end up here. You don't wanna do that because if there is anybody sitting over on this spot, this is a really flat area right here. So I'm trying to angle myself so I have the ability to go up this hill if I need to or to swing around and come up this way. So that's what I'm trying to do. Now again, it's at the bottom of a ledge and or a ridge which how do I screw up ridge and ledge twice in the same video? But anyway, I go ahead and let this push me out and sure as the world. See, I see that guy up there and it's like, I knew there would be somebody. So I'm waiting for shots to come over my left shoulder, but none do because there's nobody there. So once I get to here, I'm trying to use the trees as cover. I'm trying to make sure that there's nobody on my right. And now it's like, okay, if there's anybody up at the top here, I'm a dead man. Now, while all this is going on, we're basically down to um, six players at this point. I don't think there was anybody else. Um, so there were some good fights that were kind of taking place. We'll, we'll pop in on them. All right, so we're watching Misty Lewis at this point, and Misty is taking some shots. She works her way around, does a great job, move up. I don't know if Misty's a girl. I have no idea. I'm just going to call her a girl. Um... Elevated position guys like I'd give anything to be you know in the position that she's basically in at that point She sees somebody down right underneath her. It's like perfect Let's go ahead and just use the good old rocket launcher tries to line up a shot smart enough to take cover Because she doesn't have an immediate shot Does some damage you can hear the damage Don't see how much damage that she took because she turned her head She's like, all right, round two. And now she's going to watch it. Not able to get down, but she goes ahead and advances. Now, this is the closest fight that's going on to me at this point. So Misty jumps down, sees this guy, does some more damage. Boom, gets this guy down. So we're now down at this point. We're now we're down to four people. So Misty's the closest one to me. Then Ty Ty and Blaze Awesome surprised if she doesn't pick that up yeah I'm about to say I'm sure she would and so all right so she hasn't taken too much damage but she goes ahead and tries to get back up to um, 200 you know shield here 200 health so we'll go ahead and kind of look at the next fight all righty so we are now watching um, this is Tai Tai I do like the skin now we were down to five people at this point so, Tai Tai's over here. There's a whole lot of chaos that kind of unfolds here in a moment. So, <laughs> she's trying to line up that shot. So, Tai Tai's looking down. Now, the one guy who's basically all the way down here in the circle, the rest of us aren't even there yet. So, what ends up happening is I get pushed up. I'm, I'm basically hanging out, um, hiding back here because I was still was not in a good position. So I'm going to start to move up here. So we're going to kind of switch it back on to me because you're going to kind of see the way that it unfolds here for the rest of these guys. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and I'm advancing up. And I know that there's guys on my right. I don't know about my left, but my immediate concern is right in front of me because the closer I'm going to hit this ridge is where I'm going to see somebody. So I see the structure to the right. Go ahead, pop up, like hop into the bush. Let's just grab some quick cover real quick. 
And I'm, I know I'm not even in the circle at this point. So I'm still just kind of waiting and listening for footsteps. And so all of a sudden, I see Misty run right in front of me here. And she gets lasered. And Ty Ty does a great job. Nails right there. Now, here's the thing. I know that she just got nailed. I know she doesn't have any shield left. I don't know what her health is at. So what I say to myself is she's the closest threat. Let's go ahead and just end her right now because I know I can get her down. So I go ahead, start to line up the shot, and all of a sudden, <laughs> here comes NSG, Slaya, Slay, whatever. And so it's like, okay, I'm not going to take that shot because I'm not going to give him away my position because look at where I'm at. Look at where she's at. The circle's basically going to hit me. Can't give up my position at this point because I stand too much to gain by not doing so. So it's like, okay, well, screw it. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get to the top of this ridge because I saw her just take off running. I can still hear gunfire. So if I get into my elevated spot, perfect. You know, I'm, I'm going to see it. And so we're going to put it back on them. So did he just go down? Nope. So we're down to four at this point. Blaze Awesome and Ty Ty are fighting. Ty Ty just goes down. Here comes NSG. Comes around the corner. And now if you look, boom. So here's the circle. So NSG is now looking for me. And she's looking everywhere. And she's looking and she's looking and she's looking. Doesn't see me anywhere. Little does she know I'm already in the circle. So at this point, I'm in the circle. I'm in a decent elevated spot. I've got a little bit of cover because I wasn't sure if someone was going to be coming right over the ridge. And so I can still see this being built. Don't know exactly when it was built because I know it's metal. And so I'm just kind of listening at this point. And all of a sudden, I hear the footsteps. I see her coming around the corner. I've already got... No, I don't have my shotgun out. I get my shotgun out. Don't I? Nope. So she does a good job in kind of building. So I get off. It was like two or three shots right there. Hit her once. Turn the corner. Hit her again. Now I know it's one shot. And there it is. So go ahead, get it down, five kill solo game. And I, to be honest, I didn't mean to do the trombone right there. I meant to do the shooter. <laughs> that's what I meant to do. So anyway, guys, that's a uh, five kill solo win. Is it anything to be uh, super proud of? Yes, if it's me, it's really good um, because I'm really not that great at this game in any way, shape, or form. So I'll get what accolades I can get, even if it's only from myself. But anyway, this is a perfect game as far as me like playing the play style that I play. Quiet, sneaky, look for the advantage, try to get the first shot, which a lot of times the first shot will end up being the last shot. And so with that philosophy, that's how I approach the game. That's just how I have fun. And if you're still kind of looking to get your first wins in Fortnite, just say to yourself, you know, are you trying to be really good at the game with building and combat? Or do you need to implement at least a little bit of strategy into what it is that you're doing? See if it's going to help make a difference. Because, again, my strategy is not for everybody. It's it because, like, a lot of the kids that I play with, they're just there to have fun. They don't care if they get killed. Me, I'm there just to try to get the win because that's how I have fun. So what I do allows me to be in a position to get a win because I also had, like, three second places that same day. Or this was, yeah, yesterday, three second places. It was so annoying. But anyway, alrighty guys. Thanks so much for watching, and I uh, hope to see you next time. See ya.